Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com, and today I want to talk to you about a very um, important topic. It's that the Google Search Console is undergoing changes. It's undergone pretty much a complete um, um, renovation in regards to the way that it looks. Some of the functionality uh, has changed. Some of the names of certain um, certain functions have also changed. So I want to go through what they're describing as the most important changes and I want to show you exactly what we're talking about. So here, let's jump right in. Um, on January 25th, 2019, the Google Webmaster Central blog published this post where they talk about focusing on the new uh, Search Console. So this is one of the most important tools that we use as search engine optimization experts that we are making sure that a website has high search engine ranking by making sure that the integrations so that search engines can communicate with websites are robust. If those con connections are broken or if they're missing, um, that's going to cause a struggle in your marketing department when they're saying people are going to search engines and not finding us. So that's, that's essentially one of the tools that we use to solve that problem. Uh, they're saying that by the end of March 2019, um, they're going to have fizzled out the old search console. So what are they talking about? Um, if you're a business owner, well, first of all, this is the website we're going to use to look at search console is my um, HTTPS daswow.com. And I'm going to show you the search console integration for this website, because this is my website for my business. And so I know that it's sound. I know that there are no crawl errors. I know that, um, amp, integration is enabled. So there's a lot of things going on with this website that I might might not be able to show you on another website. So right here we can see um, the old search console. So if anybody's done a lot of webmaster work, you recognize this old search console because this is what we've been staring at for a long time. Uh, it's got the um, tools and functions on the left and then this is the overview report. So let's get right away from that and let's go straight to the new search console because this is what we've all been looking at for the past few weeks or months in my case because I want I always, when Google releases something, want to get right into it. So let's go ahead and look at what they're saying are the most important changes when you go from this old version, which you can do like this if you ever need to, and then go to the new version, right? So the new search console is going to be the only thing you can use come the middle of the summer. And so anybody who's using the old console is going to be, uh, they say is going to, going to be SOL. Um, right here uh, are the functions on the left. They're similar to the other ones, but let's see. They're saying crawl errors in the new index uh, coverage report. So the most important thing is that they're depreciating crawl errors API, so that's important. And also that the old crawlers, crawl errors report for desktop, mobile, and site-wide errors is going away because they want you to start just using this coverage report right here. So right here, what they're saying is you used to have a little bit too much information, quite frankly. Really all we need to know in our coverage report is what links or what issues we have with our with our um, with our search engine coverage. And right here we can see we have no errors, zero errors with warrants, 37 valid hyperlinks, and 52 are excluded. That's really important to me as a webmaster for a website that there are plenty of links that need to be excluded from search engine uh, crawling. Imagine, there's so many links on my website that I don't want people to find. I use them for all kinds of things. And there's a lot of reasons why I wouldn't want them uh, crawling around the internet. 52 of them. More, I got more pages I don't want to get crawled than I do that I do want to get crawled, if that makes sense. So that's what they're saying. This coverage report is something they want us to rely on. They want us to use this coverage report right here and uh, stop using the old one. So simple enough. Uh, site maps data and index coverage. So similarly, um, you used to track URLs through here. I don't want to show you the old version. I don't want to go back to it, but I'll show you right here in sitemaps. This is all we need now. All we need to know is that we've submitted a sitemap and that there's a, and that it's successful. We need to know, go right here. We need to know this. So this is just taking us straight back to the coverage report. If it's not showing in this coverage report as an error, we don't need to go and do any more investigating like we thought we used to in the past. Okay. Using the URL inspection tool to fetch as Google. This is really powerful. Um, we used to, I'm trying to remember what it used to be called, was, um, I think it was called indexing. But so now we go to the URL inspection tool right here. It's right here. 
and we can we can determine. Let's check out my my blog, for example, my video blog on this web page. So that's this web page right here, my vlog. Let's click on it. Right. So this is where I keep all these videos, um, and that I can see right right now that my vlog is on Google. It can appear in search results. I can request indexing if I've changed something or view the crawl page. But what's so cool is that. Whoops, I got it. What's so cool is that. Some of this stuff, I used to have to wonder if my vlog page was recrawling through Google, and I used to have to go check, and I used to go have to, and I'd run a report, and I would make sure that there were that there were impressions and all that. And not anymore. I mean, I can just tell really quickly at a glance that things are done right. Listen, when things aren't done right, it hasn't really gotten that much easier to fix them. But I just want to show you that I can see at a glance that this link is healthy as can be. There's really nothing to worry about on this link. And that's the whole point of that function. User management is now tucked into settings. So you used to be able to find user um, management stuff over here. And they've just all they're saying is that there's not any reason for all that. Now it's tucked right here, right here. So it's just a way to consolidate the technology and take away some of the some of the links and stuff so that you're just not looking at a cluttered dashboard. And right here, you know, you can do simple things like change, make a new user, make a new manager, make a new owner or whatever it is. Um, and then the last thing here, stru structured data dashboard to dedicated reports per vertical. Structured data types, um, like rich results and all that, this I really do want to show you because this is hard to explain, but right here we used to have all of these things right here, right? Structured data, rich cards, data highlighter, HTML, all of these things that we used to do in here, they're saying now are located right here. Where is that? Are located right, uh, sorry about that, right here in the enhancements section, right? So in this enhancement section, if it's not available to you somewhere in this section, they're saying it's not as important as you thought it was. So for me, I do something on my website called AMP integration. And what that is, is it enables Google to pull tiles. And if someone goes and searches for one of my videos, a tile pops up that's mobile friendly instead of the link to go to my website. And right now I'm, I'm suffering from a few errors. It looks like right here, um, it, they're telling me exactly what the errors are. Clickable elements are too close together and the content is wider than screen, right? And so here's my AMP error right here. It's showing a crawl issue and uh, custom JavaScript is not allowed. Well, that's important. Now that I know that, I can go fix that. And then events right here is going to show those three warnings, right? So so let's see, missing field location, validation, not start. Okay, cool. So they're saying that essentially all the things that used to be located right here uh, in regards to enhancements, I'm going to show you that again. They used to be located right here in search appearance, and they're just saying now that those things are going to be located right here. And do they seem like there's less functionality? It seems that way, but there's really not less functionality. It's just tucked into different packages here. So uh, letting go of some old features. Um, okay, so let's see. In particular, they're saying finding short and duplicated titles uh, can be useful for site owners but Google's algorithms have gotten better at showing and improving titles over the years. In other words, you used to worry about duplicate content on your website. You used to worry that blog posts had the same titles. They're saying, don't worry about that anymore. Google's getting better at figuring out when that's a good thing and when that's a bad thing. Um, crawling your website to extract titles and descriptions. You don't have to worry about that so much. I can even show you right here. I haven't actually crawled my website manually in a, in a very long time, but this page was updated on the 22nd. And you can see my sitemap was actually last read on January 29th yesterday, right? Discovered 23 URLs and it was processed successfully. That was an automatic um, crawl. I did not, I did not manually make that happen. It happened, and then I would have gotten a report that would have told me if there were errors and whatnot in there. Okay, so they're saying they want their feedback. I mean, look, this is all, all these things that happen when Google makes changes is all just to move us more towards a future where websites communicate with search engines with less human interaction involvement, which it, it means that webmasters are going to spend less time in the Google search console uh, performing work, uh, per, you know, performing labor, but it doesn't mean that uh, an amateur webmaster could be able to go in and get you high ranking in the future necessarily. So we're not really too worried about the state of our future careers more as much as we are. I worry more that the internet becomes so hard to use that people stop using it as a marketing platform. And so Google is a 
is a great company in regards to making sure that that thing called a search engine still work for business owners, right? So good for you guys, Google. I really appreciate what you're doing. So thank you so much for coming back. Um, you can go ahead and subscribe to me on YouTube at MyWebBro, uh, YouTube slash MyWebBro. You can go to MyWebBro.com. You can check out my business website at DasWow.com. And uh, please check us out on Facebook, and you can find us on LinkedIn. So, all right, have a great day.